What is up you guys, it's your boy Antoine Boss here, back again with another Ultimate Team video. Now, this week they had a promotion going on, by the time you probably check right now, the promotion is done. It is the BC Apex Breast Cancer Awareness. Now, if you miss this opportunity, they're gonna do it again. I mean, in the month of October, they're gonna do it a few times. I don't know how many times they're gonna do it, but each time you are limited to only three packs. Now, in this video, I'm gonna do two packs. Let's see who we're gonna get out of this. Okay, we get Matt Fla- No way! No way! Let's go! Oh, I got Shady McCoy! Now, when I first got Chip Kelly, I was like, okay, that might be a sign that I go. <laughs> I just wanna cry. Oh, that is the best, probably the best card that I've gotten. And I also get Santana Moss, one of my favorite players. Oh my goodness, I'm hyped right now, and I get Warren Moon, even though that's the Legends Rookie Edition card. Okay, it's fine. That was probably the best pack that I've got, and I think that Sha uh, LeSean McCoy card is kind of rare. I don't know. Let's see what Breast Cancer Awareness card we're going to get out of this. Uh, I don't see it yet. I don't we get Corey Wooden. And he is an 84 overall left end for the Chicago Bears. I don't know if that's rare, but okay, I'll take that. My defense has a lot of work to do, so I'll definitely take that. Now, after doing all that, I had a lot of coins in my piggy bank. I had about 31,226 uh, coins. And if you haven't gotten this card yet, please listen to my words and go out and get this card. It's the EJ Manual BCA pack, or should I say card? I mean, you are not gonna regret getting that. I also went out and got more cards. I'm trying to improve my defense. Anton Winfield, the 85 overall cornerback for the Seattle Seahawks. I'm gonna also go out and get him. And last but not least, actually this isn't last but not least. I, 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 went, I went out and got a lot of packs. We get Cam Chancellor, he's gonna be my safety. And last but not least, I was like, there might be another BCA card that I want, and that is the Randall Cobb. I think if we put this guy in the slot position, that is going to be a deadly, deadly receiver right there. So after getting him, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I really wanna improve my defense even more, even further. So 86 overall, Keith Tilly, the fantasy edition card. Now, what I suggest to you guys is if you guys I want to get elite or fantasy cards this is the time to do it because with the bca cards out that's going to basically uh decrease uh the value of elite and fantasy cards so from this pack right here i had about seven pro packs i got mike tolbert the elite fullback for the panthers and also i kept on opening up more packs and from this pack i got Daryl Washington, 84 overall, and like I said, I'm trying to improve my defense, and this is a way to do it. So you guys see what my starting lineup is going to look like, Shady McCoy. I'm too excited about this, man. It's going to be pretty interesting to see what this card is going to do, and we take a look at my pass offense, EJ Manuel. Listen to my words and go out and get this card. It is too much. And you see the receivers that he has for this upcoming game, Randall Cobb. And let's go ahead and take a look at my defensive front. We are on in progress, you know, we're improving my defense and that is my goal for the next few weeks is to improve my defense. So let's go ahead and start off week number five. Obviously, we are two and two. Let's see what this week has in store for us. Oh, EJ Manuel gets hit, but he was able to pitch the ball to LaShawn McCoy, a pickup of three yards. Now he's gonna find Cobb on the slant play, who's gonna secure a first down. Pressure is coming, we give a handoff to LaShawn McCoy, he breaks a tackle. Oh my goodness, he was that close to taking that one all the way to the house. But we go back to him right here, and he gets stopped with those shoelace tackles. Man, I can't stress to you guys how frustrating those shoelace tackles are. You guys see EJ Manuel right here breaking a tackle, securing a first down, which is going to set us up at the 10-yard line. Look at Randall Cobb. What a perfect beauty, for, a beauty of a pass, and Randall Cobb just secures it. And now you see Von Miller. I don't know how he dropped that pass. That could have been a pick six. So my opponent comes out with a screenplay right here to Doug Martin. Pick up of 17 yards. And to end the drive, he goes in for a touchdown with Doug Martin. Just like that. Things are tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. If you guys did not know, I do have Devin Hester on my team. And this is basically all he does on the daily basis. He puts us up by 7 points right here and gives us the lead right back. 
opponent has 23 seconds to work with and that screenplay has been killing me all game long so not only did he tie things up but he got the ball back in the second half that right there might have been the first time we saw calvin johnson but moving on on third and goal i think that's eric decker right there Ugh, come on aj manuel gets the ball back and we are late in the third quarter we're probably gonna have one more play if we run this no huddle let's go let's go we have a lot on our plate so what is ej manuel gonna do here four seconds left three he hikes the ball and he's gonna step back and find jimmy graham so we are going into the fourth quarter now we know we have to score here a field goal is not an option and steve smith goes in on that slam play so we've been doing a lot of slam plays it's been working and look at this is that von miller drop yet another interception but this time Akeem Tlaib was like why are you guys dropping those it's time for me to put the team on my back and that is exactly what he does he is definitely stepping up for the defense now on third and goal we have Jordy Nelson left wide open and that is how we regained the lead that we once had and Jenkins gets an interception right here it couldn't have come at a better time 50 seconds left on the clock and Malcolm Jenkins the newly acquired player is definitely showing me a lot right here and to end things off we went in for a touchdown with EJ Manuel he didn't have a big game through the air but you see 139 yards three touchdowns one interception MVP like performance with the amount of time that we had in this game so we moved on got the victory here week number five and when I went back into the main menu finally after getting those two losses in this season I'm kind of feeling a little better my defense is improving let's go ahead and get week number six started and again I am on the road now, to get things started here in this game both me and my opponent were just, you know, lobbing interceptions. You see, he throws an interception right here with Russell Wilson. I came out, I was like, look at me. All jolly jolly. I step back and the, the game is cutting up a bit. I threw this pass double coverage right there. There was two defenders on Larry Fitzgerald and that is going to be intercepted as well. So a lot of turnovers going on in the first quarter. We definitely have to slow things down and play more organized. Now you see Russell Wilson right here on third and eight. Yeah, he didn't see anybody, so he decides to scramble. But my defensive line is able to get to him, and Chancellor is right there to recover the fumble. So let's go. With about a minute 54 left, EJ Manuel is going to try to get a drive going. A screen pass to LaShawn McCoy, and I don't see anybody ahead of me. He could take this to the house, but oh, wait. They get me down at about the 19-yard line, second and 10 here. EJ Manuel stepping back, and Randall Cobb is right there, but he gets tackled. Luckily, we have three timeouts and a lot of time on the clock left. Look at Manuel with the quarterback wrap, takes it in for the first touchdown of the game. So my opponent has 22 seconds to work with. Luckily, my defense stepped up, but Champ Bailey, come on, man. You're supposed to get those interceptions, and you see we're just dropping balls left and right. But EJ Manuel, with about four seconds left, he's going to go deep to the speedy Steve Smith. Just like that, we are headed to the locker rooms. Now to start off the second half, the game is freezing up once again. And guess who I decide to go to? The man that we ended the first half with, Steve Smith, manages to hang on to the ball, both feet on the ground, and end the game. Yeah, it's not freezing up. Something is going on right here. It says, please wait. And I think my opponent decided to leave the game, but we're just going to keep on waiting and see what happens. And it says the connection to your peer has been lost. Now, when I went back into the main menu, it did give me the win. So it's obviously on my opponent's end. And my record is now improved to 4-2. and two. It's your boy, Onto the Boss. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm signing out. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash onto the boss. Once you have done so, I will keep you guys posted when I'll be uploading all of my videos. This is also a great way to reach me if you have any questions.